Master, I guess I didn't see you while I was napping. Is there anything that you need from me? <laughs> well, I just saw that you had my collar. Are we going somewhere? Oh, no, not today. Um, then may I ask you, uh, why do you have my collar with you? Uh, what's training? <laughs> well, it's not that I'm opposed to it. I've just never heard of it before. Is it going to be hard? Hmm, you don't think so. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I'm really excited to try it. I just want to make you happy, so whatever this training thing is, uh, let's figure it out. Oh, um, what do you have with you? Well, there's that long ropey thingy attached to the collar. What's that called? Hmm, I've never heard of a leash before. Um, is it scary? Oh, no, no, no. It's not that I don't trust you or anything, it's just all this is a little bit new. Does that go around my neck too? Oh, it just kind of dangles. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. I like things that are like that. I can play with it and chase it and it'll be so fun. Oh, it's not a toy. Well, I guess that's okay. But if it's not a toy, what does it do? Could you show me? <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never been on a leash before, and that sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> well, if I like wearing my collar so much for you, I must like this leash then, right? If it makes you happy, Master, it makes me happy. Of course. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so collar's on, and the leash is on. Now what do I do? Uh, you're still holding on to it, Master. Oh, you mean you're supposed to? So I don't run away. <laughs> Master, why would I ever run away from you? I love you so much and you take such good care of me. I would never think to. Oh, you mean going like outside? Well, yeah, we've done it before, but I've never been able to like go outside outside. It's always been in the car or with a hoodie. You mean that this magical leash thing could take me outside? Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. But, oh, why can't I just go outside without you holding on to me? Oh, because people think I'd run away? Hmm. Well, they should know that I would never do that. I don't have any reason to. I want to be with you, and I want to serve you and make you happy. I wish other people could see that. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not sad, Master. Don't worry, I'm very grateful, actually. Even if we have to walk on this leash, we can still be together outside, and being with you in that world is all that really matters to me. This is the greatest gift I could have ever had. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Oh, uh, why are you tugging on it? What does that mean? You want me to follow you. <laughs> well, couldn't you just hold my hand? You mean out there we can't hold hands? I just have to follow? Well, that seems a little strange, but if those are the rules, I guess we'll just follow. Why can't I walk on two legs? Because that's not how we're supposed to walk. Yeah, I always walk on two around you, unless you're cuddling or unless you tell me to get down on all fours, and... Why can't I walk on two legs again? Because that's weird. This outside world sounds pretty weird. They won't let me walk next to you, they won't let me walk around like a person. So I guess I have to crawl around. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm still excited anyway. I want to know what it feels like to be in the grass, to be out in public. I see it on TV, you know, malls and people working. The world is so big, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to just go out there once. Mm. So, I guess I'll get down. Is this good? Oh, thank you. Mm. Something smells good, Master. Is that a marshmallow? 
For me? <laughs> um, thank you. I love getting treats from you. <laughs> I do find it a little weird. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to, like, eat food off of plates and stuff? Oh, you mean out there we eat from your hand? That seems a little bit animalistic, Master. I know that I'm a cat girl, and I'm also a girl. You're right, I shouldn't fight it or question it. It's just how it is, and probably how it's going to be for a while. I'm, I'm still excited, though. I promise, this world, it sounds a little bit questionable, but I'm excited. So... I'll walk around on fours and let you tug me, and I'll eat from your hand, as long as it's your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. I guess I'm a little bit intimidated by so many people out there. Well, it's not that I wouldn't want to get to know them. I would love to, but I'm not too sure they would want to get to know me. I'm glad you think I'm great. <laughs> yeah, of course. What's next, Master? Are we gonna try walking more? Okay, I'll follow you. So, when you go left and pull left, I'll go left. And when you go right and pull right, I'll go right. <laughs> Things are the marshmallow. You know, maybe this whole leash thing isn't bad. This training is pretty fun when I'm with you. <laughs> mm. <sighs> are we done training yet, though? <laughs> I'm getting a little bored of this whole walking thing. Is there something else that comes with training? Oh, you have to show me something important. Alright, I'll come with you. Hmm. Master, what's that? <laughs> Why do you have a shock collar on the table? You mean I have to wear that when I go out there? <laughs> Why? You know, I wouldn't do anything, right? That looks scary. Oh, well, if you say it's not. Is that really a rule? <laughs> what do they think I'm gonna do? Jump off and bite them or something? I don't want to be hurt. Uh, <sighs> but I guess if that's what it takes to go outside. Well, I, I know that you never hurt me, Master. I'm not not trusting you or anything. I love you, but... It makes me feel bad for the other cat girls. I know that you shelter me and you try to keep that away, but is this how people like me are really treated? Ah, oh, it doesn't feel right, Master. <laughs> hey, stop tickling my ears. I know you're trying to make me feel all better. Mm, it is working. <laughs> it always works. Hey, stop! You're tickling me! You're gonna get me tangled in this leash. Could you at least let me off so we can have a proper tickle fight? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love wrestling with you, but you always win. Um, when are we actually gonna go outside, Master? Tomorrow? Well, that's awfully soon. I'm not so sure I'll be ready. What if I mess up, or I talk, or I get up, or something bad happens? You'll, you'll keep me safe? Uh, do you promise, Master? Oh, uh, alright. Well, as long as you promise, I will go with you. And I do trust you, Master. I know that you wouldn't think to hurt me. And I'll stay right by you. I'll walk on as many leashes as I have to. And I'll take those shocks if I have to. Because it's all for you. And I know it's because you want me to be able to see the world out there. I hear so much about it from you when you go out to work and come home. The grass and the trees and the other animals. I wonder if we'll see someone like me when we go out there. Do I even want to see someone like me? Or will it make me sad? <sighs> hey, you don't have to pull me into your lap like that. Well, yeah, I need a hug, but you always take me by surprise. Well, I guess I am a little bit worried. 
I've been with you for quite a while now, and I've forgotten what the world outside is like. Hmm, yeah, it's probably because I got hurt and forgot it all. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get hit in the head. I still can't remember what happened. When you found me, I was pretty beat up, right? I don't like to think about where I was before, and... Honestly, I'm probably a lot better off not remembering how I got into that bad shape. All that matters is that I'm with you. And I'm in your arms, and... <laughs> I can kiss your neck. And have you pet my ears. It feels so good and so comforting. Hmm. Could you please just give me a couple more pats? Please? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you tugging on my collar like that? You want a kiss? Mm, okay. I could do that all day, Master. Why well, you pet my ears and... Mm, it feels so nice. <sighs> I guess I'm working on my meows. Is that what I'm supposed to do outside too? Meow and purr. I think that's funny, Master, but I'll practice them just for you. They come out kind of naturally when you pet me like this. <laughs> Why are you giggling? I know they're cute, but I would much rather speak English. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know what they mean by now. I could talk with my meows, they're just hard for some people to understand. Like sometimes they mean I want cuddles, and sometimes they mean I want to be left alone. You're the only one who can really interpret them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are kind of fun. <sighs> All that training got me tired. Tired, but maybe I'll go to sleep and have big dreams about tomorrow. <laughs> I hope that they like me out there. You really think they will? Oh, I sure do hope so. I'm excited to meet them. And maybe we could go to that place you call a pet shop and get some toys. Oh yeah, I'm always happy for the treats you bring back. And those marshmallows are good, all the cat toys and the beds. Mm, I would love to see where they came from. It sounds like a magical place. <laughs> Maybe that's silly, but I think it would be fun. At least to go with you, right? <laughs> uh -huh. But for now, I would rather just rest my head on your shoulders. Curl up in my lap, <laughs> your lap, and have you pet me. I'm getting my sleepy words again, and everything is all discombobulated. <laughs> that's a silly word. Uh, I guess it is pretty late. I should go to bed early so tomorrow comes faster. Isn't that how it works, Master? <laughs> You're chuckling again. When you laugh, I can hear your heartbeat and your chest rumble and it sounds so silly. I can just press a ear up to you and hear your heart. It goes like this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. What does mine sound like? Yeah, listen to mine, listen to mine, please. And then I'll go to sleep, but I want you to listen. <laughs> you can put your ears on my chest, I don't care. Do you hear it? <laughs> it's feeding for you. <laughs> that's not cheesy, that's supposed to be adorable. <laughs> of course it is. You're everything to me. <laughs> I love you, master. And I can't wait for tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Saturn, and this officially marks the end of the audio. Um, if you guys like this audio, make sure you let me know down below. And also, just an update, I've been reading a lot of comments about doing kind of like a, a dom girlfriend, so stay tuned because I think that's going to be my next video. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing that I was kind of excited to announce because I've kind of been thinking about it, and it's not something I'm really used to, but i kind of been trying to come up with some things that could potentially be possible for me to do. I don't know, guys. I'm not very experienced in that category, but I will be posting that one 
very soon. If not tomorrow, probably the day after, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make that one tomorrow's audio for you guys. Um, on that note, that's the only update I have. And yeah, uh, if you guys are having a great day, that's great. If you guys are having a not so great day, that's okay too. Honestly, today was kind of rough for me in a couple of ways. So usually I'm in a pretty happy mood, but today was just kind of a sad day, guys. I don't know. Um, of course, I'm lucky to have you all, and I'm sure that tomorrow is going to be better. But yeah, if you're not having a great day, that's okay. My day's been a little bit weird too. I love you all, and I can't wait to talk to you again. I'll see you later.